power strip, so. <laughs> I'm fucking lying to you. This power strip blew the fuck out and everything turned off. I was like, damn. Well, we got 30 minutes to tournament start, so hopefully this gets fixed. Luckily, he just tripped the. What's, what's, what's like the breaker, so. We're Gucci. Power strip stripping the power? Yeah. 100%, bro. That power strip, you didn't give a fuck. <laughs> We did nothing added to. We did nothing to at all, other than you know, plug it in with a bunch of plugs, which is what it's meant for. And that shit just turned off. And the switch was on, so something went wrong. Something fucking blew the fuck up. Probably wonder. I don't know what the hell happened. But we have some more technical difficulties, unfortunately here. But this time it's player side, not stream side. Not the brighter side of things, just the different side of things. Usually I'm a glass half full guy. That's kind of like the glasses there kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there we go. Waker Shonen. Got a new cord. I've been a failure. I've been a success. All right, we working? We're good? Hell yeah. Love to see, baby, some more Street Fighter. Oh, only one Windows noise. That's a good sign. I think we're Gucci. I think we in there. All right. Ryu versus Ken, Iceman versus a Waker. A tale as old as time. It's kind of tell that you read, like on murals and like cave walls. It's Ryu and Ken. Now, like I said, this is a final one, the second last qualifying match for top eight. This is on the loser side. So one of this will move into the loser's top eight. And unfortunately for the loser, they are sent home. Let's see what we got here. Waker trying to redeem himself from that, uh, well, I was gonna say crucial loss against crucial. And that's some shit. But Iceman going in strong off rip. Chuck that plasma. This is uh, this is what we like to see. This this is what the Street Fighter everyone thinks they want. It's just fireballs back and forth. But this is the Street Fighter everyone actually wants. We want dragon lashes. We want DIs. We don't want fireballs and DPs and low forwards. We actually do though. Capcom, please rip them. Oh no, anti there from Waker. But no conversion. That's unfortunate from both sides. Worked out a fake Waker's favor. Oh, playing that fireball game, baby. Uh, Niner 7 Iceman with a huge life lead as well, but as I speak, he is getting comboed, sauced up into that corner. But he gets a lucky back throw, gets a break. Now he has a really good screen positioning here. Has a lot of room to work with. And will you look at that low forward, low forward drive rush? What else would it have been to win this, to win the round? Nice anti air, no jumping. This is the showdown matchup, baby. You can't jump on either of these players. Nice little counter hit combo there. Gets full screen, activate the dungeon. And it's really nice that Ryu does have this. I guess, like, historically, you would think. I guess, growing up and playing Street Fighter, you think, like, oh, Ryu's the fireball shadow and Ken's the I do shit showdown, right? It's really nice that Ryu does have this dungeon fireball. It really adds to his character. Rather than just being the dude who throws fireballs and DPs everyone. Wow, straight into the dungeon Shoryuken. That's gonna burn him out. Put him in a big life lead, life, uh, life deficit, sorry. Chip range almost. Way well, gets to fight hard through this one. This is gonna be a hard, hard fought victory if he does win, but he's just getting chipped out there by the ES Hashigekis. 907 Iceman pulling up 1 0 over Waker right now. We're going straight back into it. No breaks needed. Waker's in the zone. Nice. It's the car combo all the way to the corner. Just with the overhead block on 907 Iceman's side. Defense is standing strong right now. But he's getting caught pressing buttons. The drop the frame chat. The back dash on the throw in the corner was crazy. Nice anti air crash fierce. Doesn't overcomplicate things. Ah, jumped in on the DI. That's going to be big damage there for 907 Iceman. Going low. And, oh, once again, going low. EX Tatsu doesn't follow up. Now it's one more hit, guess for game overhead. 907 Iceman, one match away from qualifying in the top eight loser side of Street Fighter 6 here at Shrubby Miss 2. 
Wake is trying to find his way back in. Nice with punish there on the roundhouse. Gonna go all the way to the corner. What the f you see what I mean, bro? What is that? That's a situation where it worked out in his face. I mean, they always work out in his face, but that was a situation where I'm like, you have to only be able to react to that or know that's gonna happen. You can't just like see that happen and be like, oh I, I know the I know the answer to this situation. Oh, big, big whip punish here. That's actually gonna kill. Ryu damage. And just like that, Waker gets knocked out by 907 Iceman right outside the top eight. Shout out to Waker. I know it's a disappointing loss for him, but he tried his damn hardest. And shout out to 907 Iceman making top eight loser side. He's in Alaska. Born and brewed man, but he's from Spain now. All the way from motherfucking Spain, baby. Oh, don't tell me this is our loser side match. These are the brothers in arms. This is Cheech and Chong. We got Cheech and Chong killing each other here for top eight, bro. We can't do this. It's another team kill. To be fair, that's always a team kill. We're off in the same fucking place. 40 minutes apart from either way. But these are like the Wasilla boys from back in the day. This one hurts. This one hurts. This is like watching Civil War. Except they don't get together, they don't get together at the end. One of them is